Hello friends and loved ones, welcome once again to Office Recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious and stress-free Ghanaian shooter that you will never forget. Easy peasy, no need to spend much time in the kitchen. You can just make this as easy as possible. So come with me and let's get started. Alright, to make the shooter recipe, I know everybody has a unique way of preparing their shooter. But what is the most important thing is that making the shooter as easiest and as fast as possible. So right now I have here four large onions. Depending the amount that you want, you can use more if you want to or you can use less. But here I have four large onions and I'm going to wash them. I just cut them into small sizes and I've removed everything so it looks very nice and clean. So after you cut everything into small sizes, just go ahead and transfer into your blender and blend everything into a very smooth consistency. So with shooter recipe, of course, you have to add fresh ginger. The more ginger, the best your shooter will come out. And also I have here some pepper as well. You can use dry pepper, but today I'm using fresh pepper and also gloves of garlic. So I'm going to add them here. After I blended my onion, I'm going to blend all my pepper, ginger, and garlic. On this side, I'm going to use some tomato paste as well. And of course, we all know that shito without herrings is impossible. So I have here one pack of dry smoked herrings. And of course, I have here my shrimp as well. This is a dry shrimp, very, very fresh. And you can smell right away that it's very, very fresh. So with this, I have my blender right here. You can use food processor if that is what you have. And we're gonna break it into small sizes. If you want, you can remove all the bones from the middle if you feel like your blender is not really sharp. But if you do have a blender that is really sharp like mine, you can just throw everything in there and it will blend into smooth. So on this part, we're gonna use coconut oil to prepare our shito. You can use any preferred oil of your choice. But after we add our coconut oil I'm gonna add my ginger onion and garlic that I just blend into smooth so when I blend this I did not add any water so make sure that friends you don't add water in there so please continue to stir until you see that everything is cooking really nicely and please do not add any water I have a lot of bubbles coming up on top you know like a foamy consistency is due to the coconut oil but if you use different oil you're not gonna experience this yeah so right here i'm adding here my onion right here remember the one that i just blended that's what i'm adding in here so go ahead and continue and stir i'm using a low medium heat to prepare this shit so because i don't want to rush it i just want it to take the time and cook slowly and you know everything comes up really perfect because so what people here they will your journey also my area they are my journey and shit not a moon soon and i in free so next, I have here tomato paste, and I'm going to add about four tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm not going to add a lot because I just want to have a lot of meat in this shito. And also, that way, it comes out really delicious, okay? So I just want you to try. So make sure that you stir and continue to cook this tomato paste until you can tell that it's well dissolved in the oil. And also, it's coming out very perfect. So I let it cook for about 30 minutes before, you know, I added here my salt. You know, remember we didn't add any salt yet. So on this part, you can just go ahead and add all your favorite seasoning. I'm not using a lot of seasoning because of the herrings and the shrimp. It has a very beautiful natural taste that you do not need a lot of spices. Unless you like spices, then you can feel free and use any preferred spices of your choice. So after you add all your favorite spices, you can just go ahead and let it cook for extra 10 minutes and then please go ahead and get your shrimp and your herrings ready. This is how it looks after I blend everything. As you can tell, it is not completely smooth. It has some chunks in there and that is the herrings. That is what I really love. So after you add it, just go ahead and add your shrimp too. And this is how the shrimp also came up. Everything is fresh and you can tell that this shooter is going to come out very delicious, very tasty Ankasa. Easy peasy shito recipe, no need to spend much time in the kitchen. Who want to do that? Yeah, so you can just make this shito recipe within the burning of an eye. And just like that, look at that shito. 
you can tell that it is full of meat it's not taste so amazing i know that you can't wait to try this recipe so with my shoot so i like to sprinkle a little bit of rosemary and this is right rosemary i have here just a little bit you know and your shooter will come out like a pro yes easy peasy and look at that friends i know you can't wait to repair this for your friends and loved ones and of course i have here you know my fried fish i have my hot red pepper and i have my onion of course i'm gonna serve with my favorite recipe of the day that is the shito and you can eat this shito recipe with anything rice kinke yam it's completely up to you so friends this is how i prepare my authentic Ghanaian shito black chili sauce and i hope you really enjoyed this recipe and if you did please don't forget to share among your friends and you know keep sharing the lab and also leave me some comment below and let me know how you're staying out until i come your way stay safe stay joyful and have a blessed day bye bye